So, here's the thing. Every time I try to face a part on my mini lathe, the saddle just wanders off on its own. Instead of getting a nice flat face, I end up with a bulge. And the crazy part, none of the bigger lathes I've used ever did this. To make it worse, this little machine doesn't even come with a saddle lock. So I had to build one myself. Let me show you the problem. Watch as I face this part. The tool looks like it's cutting fine, but look at the result. The saddle drifted, and now the face has a bulge. The saddle on these mini lathes is just too loose. I can literally slide it along the bed without even touching the hand wheel. Sure, I could tighten it with the saddle plate bolts, but that just bears the bed out faster. And once the bed is worn, the saddle starts sagging. At that point, your lathe can't cut the parallel shaft anymore. And if you've ever tried pressing a bearing onto a crooked shaft, you know what happens. It either jams halfway, or it's loose and rattles. Not good. And honestly, regrinding a worn bed, that cost more than the whole lathe. Might as well toss it in a dustbin. So, what can we do instead? Some people install a lock between the saddle and the tailstock. That's strong, because it clamps both of the ways. But on a mini lathe, it steals precious space. On my machine, the tailstock will only has 40 mm of travel. If I add a 20 mm lock there, that's half my travel gone. No thanks. Other people use a half nuts to lock the saddle. That works, but it's awkward. You can't always lock the saddle in the exact spot you want for facing. You end up shuffling the compound slide to get the tool post in position. It works in a pinch, but it's a pain to do every time. So, I looked at other lathes for inspiration. The Mifid Super 7 has a saddle lock at the back. But on my lathe, the back plate is right in the way. That's when I thought, why not put the lock on the side of the saddle? Right here where I can clamp it down directly on the bed. Here's what I built. I made it from aluminium, so it's softer than the bed. No chance of damaging the ways. The top part of the lock slides onto the bedway. The bottom piece clamps underneath. I drilled and tapped a hole in the side of the saddle and the lock bolts right in with an allen bolt. To make it easy, I even cut an allen key short so it lives in the lock permanently. It doesn't get in the way of the tailstock levers and now I never have to hunt for a wrench. Here's how it works. Twist the key and the saddle locks down solid. Twist it back and the saddle slides freely. Simple. Let's face a part again. This time the saddle stays locked, the tool cuts through and the face is flat. No bulge, just a clean, accurate finish. So, if your mini lathe doesn't have a saddle lock, this is one upgrade that's worth the effort. It's quick, it's simple, 
that makes a huge difference in accuracy. Check out the next idea by clicking the link on screen. Thanks for watching.